Welcome back to Switch to Linux. So I left off the camera feed on this one because the um, uh, GNOME is so system resource heavy that I was having a hard time doing screen capping and video and running this inside of a virtual box all at the same time uh, with my current setup here. So um, we are going to be doing a really quick overview of the GNOME 3 desktop environment. And uh, this is running on top of Fedora 24. And uh, this is actually the same system that I set up entirely with the uh, Mac uh, VirtualBox setup tutorial series. So if you wanna know more about this and uh, a lot more details, there's, there's more in, in that, uh, that individual tutorial. So we're gonna walk through uh, some of the, the things on, on GNOME here real quick. Uh, GNOME is not my favorite, um, uh, desktop environment a lot of it has to do with uh, it, it's it has more of a Mac feel to me and uh, I'm actually not a huge fan of the Mac uh, computers uh, I do use them for for enough to to know how to do them uh, including some advanced things but for the most part it, it's not my my operating system of choice I just the, the way I work and the way I multitask it it just doesn't lend itself well and um, GNOME kind of has a lot of that same feel to it. Uh, so I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you though how you can get this guy set up. Uh, one of the things I don't like about it, at least in this particular install and in this particular uh, distro, GNOME out of the box is not very user friendly. Uh, it lacks minimizing and maximizing windows. In fact, it pretty much lacks about everything entirely <laughs> out of the box. Um, that's not to say it's bad. It's actually a very advanced and very modern UI. So um, I'm giving it a lot of a lot of junk here, but uh, in reality, it's it's a really good system. It's just not my preferred system. Um, so some of the things here with the uh, file manager, um, you can click in the upper right, uh, or I'm sorry, the upper left hand corner of the file manager here. We have this window here allows us to open up a new window. We can toggle the sidebar on or off with this guy here. Uh, we have some window preferences here, so you can determine how your uh, how your icons and such will be uh, will be sorted. So there is uh, there is a lot of information here. So if you're uh, doing the list view, you can set what those look like. Here is uh, on the search preview, or you know you can set all your defaults for your searches. So there's a lot of good advanced stuff in here. It is not a not a bad system at all. Um, one of the things I, I could not find it maybe in here somewhere. Maybe somebody can point me to it. Is I have not found a way to change my breadcrumb into an address bar, uh, which I really like in the Cinnamon desktop because I can load in an FTP file folder there. And as a web developer who works constantly as you know, a simple, um, a simple webmaster for people. It's very easy for me to just access somebody's FTP account directly from my desktop and manipulate the folders directly with uh, Bluefish Editor uh, right there on Cinnamon, which is another reason I like that platform. But in here you can, um, I meant to hit the search bar first, you can search inside your folders for whatever uh, you're looking for there. So you can do that. Uh, the second one here with the four dots, this will show the folder view or the list view. And then this is also where you would change your icon sizes. I think out of the box, the icon sizes are, I think they're one of these last two here. I prefer about this size here, it looks good to me. You can also go a little bit smaller. You can't go much smaller than that though and by, by the default here. You can sort, uh, you can do the reverse order. You can show and hide the hidden folders and files like that. You can also do that by holding control and pushing H uh, like in some other distros. So you can uh, quickly uh, do that. Now you'll notice that one of the things I don't like about this out of the box is there's no minimize and maximize buttons on your windows. You can drag and drop them to size and uh, GNOME is one of the, the distros uh, and the, the desktop environments I should say that you can snap the windows to size uh, by dragging them around. So you can maximize it by, by pulling it up to the top. Um, the one that bothers me is minimizing it as I'm doing my work. I like to minimize all my folders and stuff. So I'll show you how to, how to add those, those on there. It's, it's actually pretty easy. 
Uh, we do have uh, up at the top, we do have a simple calendar and uh, our notification center is up here as well. So if there's any notifications, they'll be here. And you know, here's our calendar events. Um, I, I'm not familiar enough with the GNOME desktop to know if the calendar actually has any other functionality, uh, like if this will sync to any online calendars or anything. I, I'm, I'm just not sure about that. Um, the tools in the upper uh, right hand corner up here, these are not independent. So, you know, you can see the network, the volume, the battery, and there's a drop down here. These are not all independent icons. Click one of these and it gets you the list bar for all these guys. So here's our, our volume toggle, our wireless battery, and our user is up here. And you can easily log out or adjust your account settings from right here, which is a nice handy place to go. Uh, I do like the fact that uh, if you need your settings, um, your settings is right up here. Ubuntu does the same thing. I actually don't bother putting a settings on my Unity bar on Ubuntu because you know, but settings is very easily accessible from the, the upper corner. You can also log out or power off the system from up here. Um, so to actually get into any applications here, you may be wondering, is up here is the activities and if you click on this then you will get uh, you will get this bar here which contains uh, your dock over here with uh, your commonly used applications over here on the uh, far right we have our desktop switcher and then down here is the show applications button which will give us this this look that's that's uh, sort of like the the Mac launcher view you can search up here uh, for anything maybe we'll search for the clocks so there's that. Now you can also get to this menu by just pushing the Windows key on this particular computer. Uh, but what I'd like to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to put this, uh, this dock down here at the bottom. And uh, I like putting a menu up here instead of going to this screen here. I like putting a menu there because I like the menu there to quickly access things. I like the start menu to get right into this guy here, and I like having the dash at the bot or the dock at the bottom for for all my common things. So you do need to install the tweak uh, the tweak tool for this uh, from the software uh, manager or the software uh, uh, system. So um, once you get the uh, the tweak tool installed, you can come in here, and this just opens up GNOME for all sorts of things. First is I actually like desktops, uh, desktop icons, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that. So now you'll see that uh, we have our desktop icons are showing up. Under the extensions, I'm going to, now you had to install this extension, this dash to dock extension. Uh, so uh, on my tutorial series setting up the virtual box on a Mac, I actually walk through how to install all that. So you can check out that video there and you can see the settings. The, the default is it will put it on the left uh, panel because that's where it is by default. I put it down here at the bottom and I move the applications over at the front so that I could quickly uh, do that because I'm used to doing it that way on the Mac. The other thing I like to do, and this is a matter of personal preference, is I turn on applications menu. So up here, instead of going to that screen, here's my applications. So it looks very similar to the applications menu inside of Cinnamon, which is handy for me. And then uh, you can change your, your system fonts and all sorts of other things here, but I'm gonna go down to Windows, and down here, the title bar buttons, I can turn on the minimize and maximize buttons. So now I have a maximize, I have go back to window mode, and I have a minimize which uh, you, can, uh, you can see where the minimize, uh, the, the little blue dot down here, you can't see it very easily on my other icons because of my VirtualBox toolbar there. Uh, but uh, you can see the blue dot here under the tweak tool means that the application's open. So if I open up a file manager now, you'll be able to see that there's a blue dot there as well. All right. So let's see, we've covered this, we've covered applications. I'm just seeing if there's anything else in here uh, regarding this uh, particular uh, desktop environment that we want to look at. Uh, maybe the settings. So you can actually just click on the, the Windows key and just start typing and then uh, you'll get your applications there. Uh, your settings panel is, is actually very nice inside of GNOME. Uh, we, it does have, have the balance of not too many things, but it does have the, the very useful items. Like we, can, we can change our background image over here, including some dynamic images that will change uh, based on the, the system clock so that 
you know, it, it'll kind of change into, uh, I'll just load those up real quick rather than trying to explain it. So if you click in here, you can see these guys down here have a little clock on it. So these ones with a clock, they will actually change uh, during the periods of, uh, of time based upon the clock so that, uh, uh, you know, during the, the lighter hours, you'll have a lighter one, darker hours, you'll have a darker one there. All right. So the other thing that uh, is nice in here, uh, we can view where our notifications are. We can see um, what the notifications we're going to get. We also have access to online accounts so that you can add any of the online accounts that you want to add. If that is, is your thing, you can do that. And there is the privacy settings. Um, so you can, uh, you can turn on or turn off, um, uh, turn on or turn off various items. So in the event you do happen to use location-based services, you can uh, turn those on. Um, I generally, I'm a privacy advocate, so I generally turn that kind of stuff off really turning them on temporarily only when I only when I need those. So you can see all of the other settings inside of the panel. Um, you can see here the, the GNOME system is a very mature desktop. It is a very modern UI. Really the uh, the only major bad thing about GNOME is is how system resource heavy it is. So don't choose this as a desktop background. If you are trying to revitalize an old system, you probably will not have good performance uh, if you uh, do have one of those older systems, you want to look for a much lighter uh, desktop environment. So uh, look around for some of those other light ones. So this has been Tom, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.